Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for taking time and initiative to learn this Azure Fundamentals examination course. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this examination course. We just finished learning about how to connect and create a virtual machine and we installed a web role and we tested how the web role works as well. In this module, we're going to learn about container services. If you wish to run multiple instances of an application on a single host machine, containers are an excellent choice. The container orchestrator can start, stop, and scale out application instances as needed. Containers are a virtualization environment. Unlike virtual machine, you do not manage the operating system. Containers are lightweight and are designed to be created, scaled out, and stop dynamically. Azure support Docker containers as well. There are mainly two ways to manage both Docker and Microsoft based containers in Azure. The first one is called Azure Container Instances. Azure Container Instances offers the fastest and simplest way to run a container in Azure without having to manage any virtual machine or adopt any additional services. It's a pass offering that allows you to upload your containers, which it will run for you. The second option is Azure Kubernetes Service. The task of automating, managing, and interacting with large number of containers is known as orchestration. Azure Kubernetes Service or AKS is a complete orchestration service for containers with distributed architectures and large volume of containers. Orchestration is the task of automating and managing a large number of containers and how they interact with it. So let's learn about how to use containers in your solutions. Containers are often used to create solutions using microservice architecture. This architecture is where you break solution into smaller independent pieces. For example, you may split a website into container by hosting your front end, another hosting your back end, and the third for your storage. This split allows you to create a different portion of your application into logical sections that it can be maintained, scaled, and updated independently. If you want to know about how to migrate your application to containers, you can move your existing application to containers and run them within AKS, which is Azure Kubernetes Services. You can control it via your Azure AD and Azure SLA-backed services as well, such as Azure Database for MySQL for data needs and via Open Service Broker for Azure, which is OSBA. Now that we learned on a high-level basis on what container instances, Let's head back to the Azure portal and learn how to create a container instance and deploy a container and test it. So I will see you on the next walkthrough. Till then, take care.